Due tonight, there may be more cases of tuberculosis at Homewood High School. Good evening. I'm Michael Oder. And I'm Jamie Langley. And tonight for Sherry Jackson. The Jefferson County Health Department made the announcement earlier today, but parents still have a lot of questions. WIAT 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan is digging for answers to fill in the blanks, and he joins us live from the newsroom with more. Mike, what does this mean for students at Homewood High School? Michael, the health department tells me some of the TB skin tests came back positive, but before they announce the exact number, they want chest x rays and blood tests on those individuals. Now, at this point, there's still just one confirmed case of tuberculosis disease at Homewood High School. Doctors are still trying to find out if anyone else was exposed, and if so, whether they have latent or active cases of TB. Only active cases are contagious. One Homewood High School parent who happens to be a pediatrician tells me he's confident in the threat response so far, but says there's still some worry in the back of his mind. And from a physician standpoint, we try to advise people, you know, try not to worry until you have something shown that you should worry about. That's difficult, I think, from the parent side of things because that's kind of what we do. Now, we're told more than 1,000 students and staff members took the TB skin tests, but the health department says about 50 students did not. Also, a lot of students left town for spring break. It's unclear if that will delay the process of getting them tested with the final test. Now, there is a treatment for TB, but according to the CDC, it involves six months to a year of taking several medications. I reached out to the superintendent and the Homewood School Board today, but have not heard back so far. We'll keep you posted on this developing story. In the newsroom, Mike McClanahan, WIAT 42 News. Coverage you can count on. Thank you, Mike.